Hi everyone, my name is Aditya Singh, Design and Verification Trainee at Pine Training Academy. In this video, I am going to show you my project which is Verilog Automatic Test Bench Generator using Batch Scripting. So, writing test bench manually can be time consuming and error prone especially for the beginners and large digital designs. I have created a script which automatically generate test bench by analyzing our Verilog module. So, now I, I will also give you the full demonstration of my tool step by step and also give you the output inside real environment. So let's get started. This is Verilog simulation with custom test bench generator using bash scripting. Let me now give you a quick overview of our project. This project is designed to simplify and automate the process of simulating Verilog hardware design. Normally running simulation and manually writing test bench can be a time consuming and error prone especially for the beginners. So I develop a smart and automated framework to make this entire flow much easier and more efficient. The system uses bash scripting to compile and simulate Verilog file using Icarus Verilog. It first check whether the user already has a test bench. If they don't, it will automatically generate a custom test bench based on the design. After simulation, the script create a waveform file and open GTK wave allow user to debug at a signal level. Our main goal was to build a tool that is simple enough for beginners but is still powerful and useful for the professional. We have added features like built-in help and easy exit option to make the tool safe, user-friendly and efficient. Now let me walk you through the workflow of our project step by step. Run the script. The user begin by executing the script called VATZ. Its full, full form is Verilog Automatic Test Bench Generator from the terminal. This opens the automated simulation interface. Step second design file selection. Next, the user either select an existing Verilog design file or provide a new one. Step third, test bench check. Our script check if the user already has a test bench. If yes, it uses that test bench. If not, the script automatically generate a custom test bench based on the design. Step four, simulate a design. Once everything is ready, the design is compiled and simulated using Icarus Verilog. Step five, Check log file. After simulation, the tool provides a log file that helps the user verify and validate the simulation result. Step 6. Waveform visualization. The script automatically opens GTK wave, allowing user to debug the signal behavior, behavior visually. Step second, 7. Simulation log and history. All log and history are saved for future reference and troubleshooting. Step 8. Help option. A built-in help option provides a manual guide for users, especially useful for beginners. Step 9 Exit option. Finally, an exit option let the user quit the script safely whenever needed. So, the entire flow is designed to be simple, smooth, and fully automated from design selection to waveform debugging. Now, I'm going to show you a demonstration of our project. So, this is Ubuntu terminal, Ubuntu operating system. Now, I'm going to show you a uh, are like directory where our file is present so here you can see that we have a very log file in which our all design files are there So we have two input AND gate, we have two input NAND gate, we have three input OR gate and we have four input OR, XOR gate. So now we are going to see AND gate CD. So here we can see that we have only design file. I am already write the design of the AND gate. Now I am going to simulate our tool. As I said, when we have, when we write VATZ, it will invoke our terminal and open our terminal interface of the tool. As you can see, Verilog automatic test bench generator and simulation in which we have eight options. First is check existing design file. So now we can start with the option one. Option one in which we have three options. Do you want to open existing design file? Do you want to create a new design file? Go back to main menu. So I have already design file of AND gate so I am going to choose option 1 and here we get the options like which design file you want to open so I want to open AND gate so AND 
so now you can see that this is the design of AND gate we have one output and two input input a b output y and this is the logic of AND gate now now I'm going to check the test bench second option so here here we can see that you have the following design file we have four design files AND gate NAND gate OR gate XOR gate so as we have seen that design file of AND gate so now we are going to check the test bench for AND gate so here we have got a message that test bench for the design file does not exist do you want to create one press Y to create a test custom test bench press N to return to main menu so we have to create test bench for our design AND gate so I'm going to press Y to it will generate a custom test bench for us so here we can see that it it is gen, it is it generated our test bench for AND gate okay so now now we are going to simulate the design for simulation we have design files and test bench required for simulation so now we are going to simulate op press option 3 so here we can see that we have two options press any key to perform simulation press n to go back to main menu so we are coming here for simulation so i am going to press any key y and here is the option that you have to follow in design file to choose for the simulation so as we have seen that i am i have generated the test bench for and gate so so i am going to simulate for the and gate so i am going to write and gate 2 here a message came that simulation complete successfully you can view the waveform and log file from the main menu so as the message pop up that we have simulated our simulate our design so now we can see in the option 4 check log file here we again going to check and get design so here we can see that this is the log file of and gate as we all know that the logic of AND gate is if any of the input is 0 then output will be 0 so we can see that if here both of the input is 0 then output is 0 here one of the input is 0 then output is 0 here both input is 1 then output is 1 so we can so with, with this we can verify that our design is successfully run and it is correct now we are going to see the waveform of our design so in option 5 we can check waveform for our design so now I am again going to write AND gate 2 so we have to click for the see the design so now we are going to uh, check with visualization so as we can see that when I am clicking here here A is equal to 0 B equal to 0 so output is 0 for AND gate now I am going to check for the last input here we can see that a is 1 B is 1 then output is 1 from this we can we can think our design and test bench run successfully and it is correct now now I am going to show you four input I am going to show you for the four input so I am again going to option 1 here again it's showing a three options so I am going to check for the XOR gate for input XOR 4 so here we can see that for the XOR XOR gate we have 4 input A B C D and output is 1 and this is the logic for the XOR gate now I am going to I am going to generate test bench no, I am going to directly uh, simulate a design I am showing you what going to be happen if I have not generated the test bench so here press any key for perform simulation so I am going to again write press Y and write XOR gate 4 so here a message came that no test bench exists for this design do you wish to create custom test bench for the same so I am going to write yes do you wish to create custom test bench for the same okay 
let me check so now again I'm going to press Y XOR gate 4 do you wish to create custom test bench for same yes so here here we can here we can see that our test bench is created XOR gate and for the four input XOR gate there can be a 16 combination and we can see that 4 4 4 now now a custom test bench has been created and our our design has been simulated so now we are going to check the log file XOR gate 4 not simulated okay 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 so we have to simulate first so third y xor gate 4 so our simulation has been completed you can see the waveform and log file from the main menu now i'm going to check for the log file xor gate 4 so here we can here we can see that this is the log file for the xor gate so for the xor gate verification we we can see that when 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 even number of one then we can verify with the when we have odd number of one then output will be one so here we can see that we have odd number of one we have only one so the output is one and we can see that when we have even number of one the output is zero so with this we can verify that our XOR gate is working properly now we are going to see the waveform so XOR gate 4 so we are going to check for any of any one of the so we can see that here we have two even number uh, two even number of one so output will be zero when we have odd number of one then output is one so with this we can we also verify the XOR gate and it is working properly now what is option six we can see that show history so in option six it shows whatever the command we have run before it will show us the steps which we have run at that time now option seven is for the beginners who don't know about this tool so with this option they know about the tool all about the tool so we have made this from html and here here everything about the tool how it is going to be run if you are stuck in that that part that part then how you can how can you exit from the tool so everything is in in this help option it is a user manual for the beginners so now in the eight option it is exit from the tool so here our recorded steps are temp, uh, deleted and we have we exit from the tool so with this this is all about my tool which i have made that wrap up the demo this this bass based tool simplify verilog simulation for both beginner and advanced user in conclusion To conclude, our project delivers a fully automated and user-friendly Verilog simulation setup using Bash scripting. It removes the hassle of manual writing test bench and compiling design, making the entire flow from design entry to waveform analysis smooth and efficient. With features like auto-generated test bench, log tracking, GTK wave visualization, and built-in help, this tool is ideal for both beginner and advanced users working in digital design verification. We have also made it scalable with room for future upgrade like multi-language support and advanced test case handling. So with that, thank you everyone for your attention. If you like this video and it is useful for you, then please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel.